all nine and out. Heard a little bit about it, but uh, what what's that what that mean for this team? Well, I think I mean it's a it's a giant step in the right direction. Um, I think coming into the year we had really high expectations. We felt like this could be a really good basketball team, um, and we haven't we haven't slipped up yet. Um, you know, it, it's a long season. There's a lot of games, and it's easy to, to you know to not capitalize on every opportunity. And at this point, our kids have, and, and we're grateful for that. You mentioned that maybe you guys are exceeding expectations a little bit, or maybe you've seen a little bit more than you had anticipated. Uh, talk me through that, I guess, a little bit. Yeah, I don't know that we – I mean, I don't think we've exceeded our expectations, but I think what I've seen from this group of kids and how much they like each other right now and are willing to sacrifice, you know, maybe the good for themselves, for the team – um, and the way that we've played on the defensive end and knowing that we're going to continue to improve offensively, I feel like our upside might be a little bit higher than what I thought. Um, not that I necessarily knew, but I just I think that there's, there's a lot of untapped and, and somewhat unlimited potential with this group given where we're at right now. Is that an exciting feeling for a coach who's been around for a while? Yeah, it's, it's awesome. I mean, we've, we've had some really good teams. Um, you know, and uh, I look at this group and... You know, from a talent level, it's hard to compare past teams, but I know that where we're at right now and where we could be at the end of the year is, is a long ways away just because of the pieces that we have and the way that they play together. What can you say about Lizzie and what she's been able to do so far? Yeah, I mean, just to have a freshman come in, this is, um, you know, really the first freshman in my time that I've been here who came in and started right away as a freshman. Um, and that's asking a lot, um, you know, over a long season and just for them to, you know, to just get through the physical rigors of that. And she's been fantastic. And I'm excited to get to break where we're at, get some time off for her and everybody and, you know, kind of regroup and come back um, with a new energy in January. Was this a team, you mentioned expectations were high. Uh, was this a team coming out of last year that you felt was going to be good or was that over the course of like, preseason, seeing the girls in open gyms, was that when you kind of figured out that this could be a good team? I think we started to see it a little bit more this summer. We knew after last season, we had two seniors um, who played for us, um, and we felt like we had, you know, a JV team that was really good, and we had kids that were coming into the program, you know, moving up in the program that could help us, um, and a lot of, a lot of um, kids coming back with experience, and we knew that the possibility was high, but I think this summer we started to see more and more of it. Um, and really realize the potential of this group as we got to see the pieces all together. Was there like a particular moment where <laughs> something happened that you're like, okay, started to change your perspective a little bit? But I think the biggest thing was when um, you know we, we started playing a freshman this summer in team camps with the varsity, and our kids welcomed her with open arms, and nobody. You know, nobody was worried about, well, why does she get to do this or why do they get that opportunity? Um, that was never a part of it. And the kids bought in right away and were all in and wanted to support each other and be great teammates, which is exciting as a coach, but also um, is one of the reasons I think there's a ton of potential here. Obviously, whenever you have a, a youthful talent, there's got to be some leadership there as well. Talk about some of the leaders that are helping put this together. Yeah, I mean, we've got five seniors um, who all were part of a team last year. They were all dressed varsity for the most part as sophomores, the team that made it to the state tournament. So they got a taste of that, and then they lost it last year. And I think they're willing to you know, sacrifice anything they have to to get that opportunity again this year. Anything else? Good.